Good morning, everyone. How are you today? It's Miss Patty and Miss Jarvis, and we're here just to have story time with you. We're so happy that you joined us. Today, we have lots of things in store for you at the library. You know what? The library is getting ready to open up to everyone. So we have a couple different announcements for you. Pay close attention. Well, you know, each week we have our story kits that are right here in our children's area. Please come and pick one up. Inside our story kit today, we have some very, very special things. The first thing I want to talk to you about is this very special flyer. We're going to be having some virtual programs. This one is going to be about elephants. You know elephants, how big they are, and they live in the jungle. Well, we're going to have them right here for you on Zoom. There are going to be three special programs. And they're free. All you have to do is come in the library, pick up a flyer, and right here, log on. And if you need help, ask somebody at the desk or Miss Jarvis or me if I'm here. Log on, register, and join in the fun. And that all happens in April. So make sure you come and get your flyer. Today, in your story kit, for those of you who have picked one up, there's some special items in there. And we're going to get ready for our craft now before our story. Inside your kit, there's some wonderful, pretty markers. There's also a paper towel. There's also two cups. And then there's the direction on how to make a rainbow. What we like for any adult or older child to go and get about a cup of water to get us ready for our craft while we're reading our story today. Our story today is going to be about storms. Did you see the storm that we had over the week? All that rain on Thursday, it rained and rained and rained buckets. Well, the story today is about a storm is coming on a farm. Join with me today, sit back and relax, and enjoy the story and find out what all the animals did when the storm came to the farm. Here we go. I hope you can see the pictures. Here we go. All farmer leaped out of his chair and clicked off the radio. Did you hear that dog? He bellowed, a storm is coming, a storm is coming. We better get those animals safely in the barn because the storm is coming. Dog sprang up to his feet and bounded out the door. Round them up, called the farmer. Round them up, called the dog. The dog ran around circles and circles all around the sheep. He had to quickly get them to the barn. A storm is coming, a storm is coming. Ruff, ruff, the dog barked. We have to get into the barn quickly, he said to the sheep. The sheep were frightened. They raced up the dog to the barn. They raced up the barn. On the way to the barn, they came across duck. Quack, quack, quack. The duck was swimming in the pond. A storm is coming, a storm is coming, said the sheep. Come on, duck, we gotta get to the barn as fast as we can. The duck was confused, but he flapped his, had flapped his arms and said, okay, let me go here to the barn. Oh, boys and girls, do you see the big black cloud? Warning, warning to us that a storm may be coming. The cows in the pasture looked up at the animals speeding past. A storm is coming, a storm is coming. We have to get to the barn quickly, the duck warned the cows. The cows herded themselves together and joined the stampede. You know what a stampede is. You know, a lot of animals are moving very, very quickly. 
When they all reached the barn, the farmer hurried inside and shut the door tight. In the barn, there was barking, there was clapping, there was bleeping and mooing, and it woke up the barn cat. The cat looked around and he stretched and he yawned because he was sleeping. Oh. The animals were like, a storm is coming. A storm is coming. And who is Storm, said the cat. He was sleeping. Do you know how you wake up sometime and you're sleeping? You really don't know what's going on. You're kind of confused. Well, this cat was a little confused. The cows looked at the duck. The duck looked at the sheep. The sheep looked at the dog. But the dog didn't know. Who is Storm? What is the cat talking about? Well, he must be very mean, said Dog, moving to the guard the door, door. And he must be very, very scary, said the sheep, who were shivering because they were so afraid. Big, big, he must be very big, quacked the duck, who was flapping his feathers into the air. The cow just laid in the corner and moaned. The cat just yawned again. Wake me up when the storm gets here, she muttered, and she drifted back to sleep. The animals, they waited and they listened. They waited and then they listened. We need a lookout, said Dog. So the duck flew up to the open window and cautiously peeked out. No storm, quack, quack. No storm, quack, quack. But the sky was growing darker. You know when a storm comes, the sky gets really, really dark sometimes. Have you ever noticed that? I have. And that's a good time for us, too, to get inside. Oh, no, bleat the sheep. Even the sun is hiding from storm. The cows drop their heads and moan louder. Dark is good, said the dog. Then Storm won't be able to find us. The animal nodded. Yeah, that's good. He won't be able to find us. The duck called down. I don't see Storm, but I see the wind is beginning to blow. Swoosh, swoosh. Swoosh! Great, barked the dog. The wind will blow the storm away. The cows lifted their heads and the sheep stopped shaking. Then they heard some heavy tapping on the roof. The storm is knocking, the sheep cried. No, 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 said the duck. That's the rain. The dog nodded. The rain will wash away our tracks. The storm won't be able to see where we are. The cow and the sheep listened for a moment, and they many nodded in agreement. One more time, the duck called down. I still don't see storm, but the sky is flashing lightning. The sky is going to blind Storm, so he can't see us, said the dog. The cows scrambled to their feet, and the sheep started shuffling. See the lightning flashing? That can be a little scary sometimes. A roar of thunder shook the barn. Hear that, duck? The dog barked. Yes, yes, quack, duck. The clouds are growing at the growling at the storm. They are scaring him away for sure. All day long, the wind blew. Swish, swish, swish. The lightning flashed. The thunder rolled. And all through it, the animals were cheering because they thought that them from the storm. 
But suddenly, everything stopped. The sky went silent, and so did the animals. They waited and they listened. They waited and then they listened. And the duck flew down to the huddle with everyone else. Um, um, someone's coming towards them. Click, clack, clang. Someone's opening the door. Someone's coming in. The animals back into the corner. This was it. Storm had come to get them. The door swung wide open and the animals gasped. <gasps> it was the farmer. Everybody out, he called. It's all safe now. Now. Hooray, 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 the animal shouted. Barking, flapping, bleeding, and mooing away. Awoke the cow again, the cat again, my friend. They stretched and yawned and opened one eye. The cat opened one eye. Did I miss the storm, she said. No, the dog reported. No storm ever came. Then they ran into the sunshine with the others, and the cat went back to sleep. Everybody got even the sun came, but the sun did come, didn't it? When the wind comes, the lightning flash, the thunder roll, roars. That's all part of the storm. And then when the rain comes down, that was a good story, wasn't it? I have one more story to share with you. This is a book that I pulled out. It's called The Big Storm. And again, it talks about animals. The nice thing about this that I find, it talks about math too and counting animals. And it talks about all the parts of the storm, but it talks about going into a hill for shelter. This is a fun book. So I recommend that you come and get either one of these books. And we have lots more books about storm. This will be in our story time corner. They'll be there. You can check them out and then you can read them for yourself at home and enjoy them. One thing fun about a storm, even though it's scary sometimes, at the end of the storm, do you know what's up in the sky that's beautiful and fun to look at? That's right, a rainbow. So our craft today is called Grow a Rainbow. So we're going to have some fun with our markers and our cups and our towel. Miss Jarvis is going to come to us and help you grow a rainbow. Thanks, boys and girls. It was so much fun to be with you today. I hope you enjoyed the craft. That was such a fun story about that storm. Those animals were kind of silly, weren't they? <laughs> today for our craft. Make sure you have everything set up in front of you. I have a cup of water here. I have two cups ready to go. I have my instructions here. And I have my paper towels and markers all ready to go. First thing I'm gonna do is get my markers out so they are ready to use in a minute. I have all kinds of colors to choose from all the different colors of the rainbow. I'm gonna put them right there so I have them ready to color with. The first thing that I'm gonna to need to do is take my paper towel. See how it's very long? What we need to do is fold it in half, hamburger style. So it should look like that. Make a nice fold right in the middle. So it's nice and flat. Then we're going to split our paper towel right in half. You can use your hands or some scissors if you have them nearby. So now you have two paper towels to work with. We're going to take one part of our paper towel and we're going to roll it up. Just like that. You might even be able to look through it and see like a telescope. 
Once you have your paper towel rolled up, you're going to squish it nice and flat. Once it's nice and flat and not popping up anymore, then we're going to get our markers. We're going to color on the ends of the paper towel at the top and at the bottom. Pick what colors you would like to use. I'm going to use three colors. You can use as many as you want. As you color, make sure the colors are nice and strong so you can see them. My first color is going to be pink. I'm going to do it on both sides so that it matches. Now I have pink on this side and on this side, so they're both looking the same. I'm also going to do purple and blue. So you can pick whichever colors look best to you. If you want to do all the Roy G. Biv colors in the rainbow, you can fit them all in too. Now we have purple and some blue. Once I have my colors ready to go, I'm going to take my two cups. I'm going to put my water halfway in the cup. So they fill up part way. You need an adult to help you pour, let them help. You might need some extra paper towel in case you spill. Now I'm going to set up my two cups right next to each other. I'm going to take my rainbow that I colored on my paper towel and I'm going to bend it into a rainbow shape so that the colors are on the outside. Once you have your paper towel in a rainbow shape, we're going to take it. And we're going to put it over the two cups so the very ends where you colored touch the water. As you watch, you'll be able to see the colors travel right up the rainbow. Can you see your colors traveling across the paper towel? I know I can. Look, they're almost reaching up taller. You can do this with as many colors as you'd like. If you leave them sit for longer, you'll be able to see them travel even more. One that I started right before story time has traveled almost the whole way across the paper towel with all the different colors. Look at that. You can do this as many times as you'd like, as long as you have paper towels, markers, cups, and some water. Maybe you might like to see which colors work best for you. Maybe you want to see which colors travel the fastest. It's all what you would like to do with them. I hope you enjoy growing your own kinds of rainbows, especially on a sunny day like today. Before we go for today, as a quick reminder, we have some really fun events coming up here at the library. We have some elephants that are going to be visiting us. If we stop by our children's section, we have a flyer that also has an elephant coloring page on it with information. You can also visit our website at Coastal Area Public Library and hit our events tab to find out more information about things that are happening coming up. Our elephants will be visiting us in April, and you can visit them right from your computer at home on April 8th, April 22nd, and May 6th. Join us for our next story time on April 2nd. We look forward to seeing you then. Okay, let's move to the next. Okay. Uh -huh. Have a good weekend, everyone. Have a good weekend. See you next time. time.